Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki, and the Gospels at Mass these days that lead up to Holy Week show Jesus debating with both enemies and friends. In fact, our Gospel today from the 8th chapter of John begins with Jesus talking to those Jews who believed in him, in other words, his supporters. But they quickly turn on him as he calls them to leave sin behind and become truly free. Apparently, they didn't think they were sinners. Pope Francis talked about this in an interview book entitled The Name of God is Mercy. He made a distinction between sinners and the corrupt. Sinners know they fall into sin and seek God's forgiveness and help. But the corrupt person, Pope Francis said, is, quote, so closed off and contented in the complacency of his self-sufficiency that he does not allow himself to be called into question by anything or anyone. He is the one who goes to Mass every Sunday but has no problem using his powerful position to demand kickbacks. Corruption leads people to lose the modesty that safeguards truth, goodness, and beauty. The corrupt man often doesn't realize his own condition, much as a person with bad breath does not know they have it. End quote. So, as we continue our Lenten observances, we do so with humility, or as Pope Francis put it, modesty. We know that we're not perfect, that we are sinners in need of God's mercy every day, and We're careful not to think too well of ourselves, thinking that our religious practices mean we are not sinners. We don't want to become corrupt or, as Pope Francis put it, like people with bad breath who don't know they have it.